Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll solve exercise 35B from Mathematics 1. Number one, number one says 4,000 kg of anthracite cost 38 pounds. So find the cost of 5,000 kg. So how can you solve this problem? Look, this one is very easy. So we can write in this way. Cost of 4,000 kg. 4,000 kg is 38 pound. So cost of 1 kg will be, 1 kg will be 38 divided by 4,000 pound. Okay. We are reducing the amount of anthracite. That's why the cost will be reduced. So what will be the cost of 5,000 kg? So cost of 5,000 kg will be, 38 multiplied by 5,000 divided by 4,000. So how can you solve this problem? At first, we have to divide numerator and denominator both by 1,000. Then it will be 5 by 4. Then divide 38 and 4 both by 2. It will be 19 by 2. Now, 5 multiplied by 19. 5 multiplied by 19, that will be 95. 95 by 2 pound. So after converting 95 by 2, we'll get our final solution. 2 4 ja 8, remainder is 1. 15. 2 7 ja 14, remainder is 1. So we have to put this point. This point represents 0. So 5 to the 10. So we can say answer should be 47.5. Now, number two, number two says, this cycles 56 kilometers in four hours. Find how long he would take to cycle 49 kilometers. So how can you solve this problem? Same way we can solve very quickly. He cycles 56 kilometer, 56 kilometer in four hour. Okay. That means one kilometer in 4 divided by 56 hour. So our final answer should be 49 kilometer. That means he cycles 49 kilometer in 4 multiplied by 49 divided by 56 hour. Now we have to divide. We can divide 49 and 56 both by 7. 7, 7 ja 49 and 7, 8 ja 56. Then divide 8 and 4 both by 4. So 4 1 ja 4, 4 2 ja 8. And then 7 by 2 hour. Now if we want to convert this 7 by 2 into decimal number, what will we get? 2 3 ja 6. Remainder is 1. Then put a point. Point represents 0. 2 5 ja 10. Okay. Then our final answer should be 3.5 hour. Okay. Very simple. Now, number three. Number three says a train travels 50 kilometers in 60 minutes. Find how long it takes to travel at 7 hold 1 by 2 kilometers at the same rate. So, how can you solve the problem? Same way. A train travels, a train travels, a train travels, travels 50 kilometer, 50 kilometer in 60 minutes, 60 minutes. So one kilometer, one kilometer in 60 divided by 50 minutes. Therefore, 37 pull one by two kilometer. Actually 37 pull one by two, if you want to convert this one into improper, it will be two multiplied by 37. 37 multiplied by two, what will it be? 2, 7, 40, we have 1, 2, 3, 6, plus 1, 7, 74, 74 plus 1, that is 75. So 75 by 2 kilometer in 16 multiplied by 75 by 50 multiplied by 2 minutes. Okay, now calculate, then we will get our final solution. Look, how can we convert this one? Look, at first, 60 and 50 both are divisible by 10, so 6 by 5. Then 6 by 2, that will be 3. Okay. 75 by 5, it will be 15. 
So our final answer should be 3 multiplied by 15. That will be 45 minutes. So our final answer is 45 minutes. Now, number four. Number four says the train fare for a journey of 56 kilometers is 1.12 pound. Find the fare for a journey of 72 kilometers. So how do we solve this problem? So we can write in this way, train fare for a journey, train fare of 56 kilometer is 1.12 pound. So train fare of one kilometer is 1.12 divided by 56. So final answer should be Train fare for 72 kilometer is 1.12 multiplied by 72 divided by 56. 72 and 56 both can be divisible by 8. So 72 and 56, if we divide both on by 8, 8 9 is 72, 8 7 is 56. Now we have to multiply 1.12 by 9. Then divide it by 7. Then we'll get our final answer will be 1.44 pound. Okay. So the train fare for a journey of 72 kilometers is 1.44 pounds. Number 5. Number 5 says if 20 eggs cost 32 pence, how many eggs can be bought for 48 pence? So that is very easy. So we have to find out the number of eggs. So 32 pence is it for required to buy 20x. Therefore, one pence is required to buy 20 divided by 32x. Therefore, our final answer should be, final answer will be 48 pence is required to buy 20 multiplied by 48 divided by 32. Okay, now we have to divide. How can we divide? We can divide first by 2, then it will be 16, and 24 to 48. Then again, we have to divide 16 and 24 both by 4. 4, 6 are 24, 4, 4 to 16. Then divide 20 by 4. So 20 by 4, it will be 5. Okay. So now five six uh, five six uh, thirty. So forty eight pence is required to buy thirty eggs. Now number six. Number six says if five liters of liquid weigh twenty kg, find the weight of twenty liters of the liquid. So how can you solve this problem? Look, that one is also very easy. We are solving this way. Weight of 5 liters, weight, weight of 5 liters, 5 liters of liquid is 20 kg. So weight of 1 liter of liquid will be 20 divided by 5 kg. So weight of 20 liters of liquid will be 20 multiplied by 20 divided by 5 kg. So 20 by 5 it will be 4, 4 20 by 80 kg. So our answer should be 80 kg. So if 5 liters of liquid weigh 20 kg, then the weight of 20 liters of liquid will be 80 kg. Now, number seven, number seven, how can you solve number seven? Number seven says, a train travels at 20 meters per second. Find the numbers of kilometer it travels one hour. Okay, and that is very simple. So, so we can write in, in this way, in one second, in one second, a train can travel, a train can travel, a train can travel, 20 meter 20 meter therefore in we know that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds 
So in 3,600 seconds, a train can travel, train can travel 20 multiplied by 3,600, 3,600 meter, okay? So you can multiply this one. But the question says we have to convert it into kilometer. So how can we convert? We have to divide this one by 1,000. So 3,600 by 1,000, it will be 36 by 10, okay? And unit will be kilometer. And 20 divided by 10, it will be 2. So 36 multiplied by 2, that will be 72 kilometer. And that is the answer of number 7. Now, number 8, number 8 says, two people can stay in a hotel for a week for 21 pounds. Find how much it will cost them to stay for one 10 days. Very simple problem. Just we don't need to think about these two people. Just we will think about this week. That means hotel bill for one week is 21 pounds. So what will be the hotel bill for 10 days? Very simple. So at first, we have to convert it. We know that one week equal to seven days. So how can we write? We can write in this way. Hotel bill. Hotel bill. Hotel bill for seven days a week. Week means seven days. Is twenty one pound. Okay. So hotel bill for one days is twenty one divided by seven pound. So hotel bill for ten days. Ten days. Ten days. It will be twenty one multiplied by ten by seven. Okay. Then just solve it. Then you will get the final answer. Twenty one by seven. That will be three. So your answer should be 30 pound, 30 pound. Now, number nine, number nine says, $350 invested brings in 10.50 pound interest per year. Find the amount which when invested will bring in 42 pound each year. Okay, so how can you solve this problem? 10.50 pound interest uh, to get 10.5 pound interest interest investment is the investment is 350 so to get one pound interest investment is 350 divided by 10.50 therefore to get 42 pound interest Investment is 350 multiplied by 42 by 10.50. Okay, now we have to divide. So what does 10.50 means? 10.50 means 1050 divided by 100. So we have to multiply it by 100. Okay, and here it's already 42 is given and 350. Now divide. We can divide 350 and 1050 both by 10. So it will be 35 by 105. Then divide both 105 and 35, both by 35, and it will be 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Okay. And then 42 by 3, what will it be? 3, 1, 0, 3, 12, 3, 4, 0, 12. So 14 multiplied by 100, that will be 1,400 pounds. Okay. Now, number 10. Number 10 is very easy. A liter of water weighs 1,000 grams. So find the weight of 4 liters of water. So how can you solve weight of 1 liter is 1,000 grams. So weight of 4 liters of water is 4 multiplied by 1,000, that is 4,000 grams. No, very simple. Now, number 11, number 11 says, to ensure house value at 4,000 pound cost 3 pound. So what will it cost to ensure a house value at 2,500 pound? Very simple. To ensure a house value at 4,000 Cost is three pounds. To insurance the house value of one pound, 
cost is three by four thousand pounds. So to get a house valued two thousand five hundred pound, cost is three multiplied by two thousand five hundred by four thousand. So we have to divide. How do we divide? We can divide both numerator and denominator by hundred. That will be twenty five by forty. Again, we can divide both numerator and denominator by five. Five will be twenty five. Five eight is forty. Then five is a fifteen by eight pounds. So now we have to divide. After dividing fifteen by eight, we get one point eight seven five pound to feed twenty people for a week costs fifty pound. Find how many people can be fed for a week on forty pound. Very simple. We can easily solve it. So we can write in this way: fifty pound is required. Is required. Is required to feed twenty people. Therefore, one pound is required to feed twenty divided by fifty people. Therefore, forty pound is required. To feed twenty multiplied by forty by fifty, fifty people. Now we have to divide fifty and twenty both are divisible by ten, so it will be two by five. Then forty by five will be eight, so eight to just sixteen people. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you soon on next video. Until then, Allah peace. Fiyaman.